Hello everybody, today I wanted to do a little video on something that I had to kind of MacGyver. Alright, um, you know normal Intel uh, CPU coolers, like the stock ones, they have these here. These pop in, and there we go. Once you push that down, it separates those two pins and it clamps into the board. We'll see this one here, I got, it was broken already. So, I had to remedy that, and this is how aftermarket coolers work. You've got this back plate that goes behind the motherboard, and then these screw right into it. And this one actually doesn't fit. This isn't the motherboard I'm using. Um, I'm just using this to show you guys. This one didn't fit on the motherboard that um, I need to put this cooler on. So, here's what I came up with. I found these old screws that I had. They came from like an old uh, HP case, or Dell, and I think they were for... Uh, the slide to slide in the toolless entry for the what are they called uh, disk drive. So here's what I did. I used the back plate from an aftermarket cooler. Uh, I took these out and just popped them right out. They come out pretty good with pliers. And as you can see right here, I just screwed these in. And uh, this I don't know. They latch down really well. Um, if you ever do do this. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of possibilities that something could go wrong. You see here that these are kind of bending down a little bit because they got a lot of tension on them. Um, I'm not trying to put a lot because, like, you think about um, <clears throat> how a retention clamp, or retention clamp works, like on AMD, uh, AMD CPUs. Um, I don't want to put a lot of pressure on the CPU itself. But this seems to be working so far, and I just wanted to show you guys that. I thought it was kind of... Kind of cool how it worked out. But yeah, um, yeah. if it works for you guys, if you're in this issue, try it. Alright, thanks for watching. If you want to watch, see more see more things like this, uh, subscribe and message me. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.